story to tell. Born during World War I, the tank was a revolutionary weapon, and it changed the doctrine of war forever. The MBT concept completely changed the approach to medium and heavy tanks in the arms race. As the modern battlefield evolves, tanks that are considered too specialized have been phased out. An MBT combines the armor and firepower of a heavy tank, the infantry supportability of a medium tank, and the mobility and scouting ability of a light tank into a single package. A modern MBT is just as fast if not faster than any other tracked vehicle in modern forces, while still being very hard to kill and able to smoke almost any ground target out there. Cold War era development of more powerful engines, better suspension systems, and lighter weight composite armor allowed the design of a tank that had the firepower of a super heavy tank, the armor protection of a heavy tank, and the mobility of a light tank, in a package with the weight of a medium tank. Through the 1960s, the MBT replaced almost all other types of tanks, leaving only some specialist roles to be filled by lighter designs or other types of armored fighting vehicles. Today, main battle tanks are considered a key component of modern armies. Modern MBTs seldom operate alone, as they are organized into armored units which involve the support of infantry, who may accompany the MBTs in infantry fighting vehicles. They are also often supported by surveillance or ground attack aircraft. The average weight of MBTs varies from country to country. The average weight of Western MBTs is usually higher than that of Russian or Chinese MBTs. The MBT concept was developed in the 1960s, as it was realized that medium tanks could carry guns that could penetrate any practical level of armor at long range. Also, the heaviest tanks were unable to use most existing bridges. The World War II concept of heavy tanks, armed with the most powerful guns and heaviest armor, became obsolete because the large tanks were too expensive and just as vulnerable to damage by mines, bombs, rockets, and artillery. Likewise, World War II had shown that lightly armed and armored tanks were of limited value in most roles. An increasing variety of anti-tank weapons and the perceived threat of a nuclear war prioritized the need for additional armor. The additional armor prompted the design of even more powerful guns. The main battle tank thus took on the role the British had once called the Universal Tank, exemplified by the Centurion, filling almost all battlefield roles. Typical main battle tanks were as well armed as any other vehicle on the battlefield, highly mobile, and well armored. Yet they were cheap enough to be built in large numbers. The first Soviet main battle tank was the T-64, and the first American nomenclature designated MBT, was the M-60 tank. The modern MBT can fulfill the light, medium, and heavy roles just as good as a tank built to fit them. By the late 1970s, MBTs were manufactured by China, France, West Germany, Britain, India, Italy, Japan, the Soviet Union, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United States. <laughs>